Welcome to the video from the digitalize.com. In this video we're going to look at storage sense and how we can clear up some space on our PC on the hard drive. It could be a desktop or a laptop. And um, I'm going to do this on my Surface device where I've got it switched on and I've also got a virtual machine that I've got it not got it switched on so I can look at how we switch that on. So let's go to the virtual machine first. So here if I go into storage you can do this just go into storage go to storage settings you can see the storage settings and I've got storage sense switched off at the moment we'll put that on in a minute and here you can see where all the hard disk uh, is being used by this virtual machine I flick over here to my other to, to this laptop and you can see I've got the different usage so here you can see all the um, areas that are being used up by the hard drive so it could be you open this and you can see that sort of maybe you've got uh, gigabytes of temporary files or whatever you could be able to see that through there you can go into each section and you can see what it's been used for so in since uh, I think 2018 Windows 10 has reserved some space so that makes sure that updates and things work correctly so that's reserved storage on there if I go to apps and features you can see which apps and features using all the space up and you can sort this uh, by uh, size so you can see what's using all the all the space up on your machine in terms of apps and here if I say go to temporary files this is now going to scan for temporary files and you can see uh, what's in use on there let me try this on the other machine as well so you can see here the delivery optimization files so these are optimized uh, files for downloading you can get rid of those it can get rid of thumbnails and some other things as well it's leaving the downloads folder alone so if I've got them like that I can do remove files and that will clean those up here you can see on my uh, other machine you've got I've got the same option there so you can even see things like previous versions of Windows 10 and things like that on there so like you can look in there you can see that there's other people logged on to this account I've created a few accounts to test this machine and you can go and manage that and that's 278 megs so not much on there but if it was again it was gigabytes you could have a look at that there are some recommendations so recommend cleanup tasks we've just done some of them uh, you can look for large files and that kind of thing. Now what you can do is use the storage sense. So this is currently off, so I can go and have a look at that. So I can turn that on. And this runs whenever there's low disk space, or you can get it to run once a day or once a week or once a month. And you can get it to clean up based on these rules. So you can delete temporary files that are in the recycle bin that have been used have been there for 30 days and downloads I never wanted to delete downloads but I could say yeah we download files we clear cleared out every day or never and OneDrive OneDrive can um clear up space by if you've got files stored in OneDrive they can store in the cloud and not locally so Let's have a look. so you can have a rule based on that as well. So, if a file has been um, not opened for say 60 days, it will archive that and make it available through the cloud but not locally. So, what does that look like? It could be so. Here's a, an example folder in OneDrive I've got some audio files and podcasts, and these are available locally, these are cloud. So, I can free up some space by saying to those up space and what that does now is it leaves them available in uh, in OneDrive in my in on the cloud but they're not actually stored on this machine if I wanted to access them I can just double click on one of these files and it'll re-download it back as local again again so I've not lost the files I've still got access to them it has to just re-download them that first time so by setting so by setting this up this way all your content if you don't touch it will automatically be all your OneDrive content will automatically be uh, clean cleaned up and available on the cloud and not stored locally unless you manually uh, click and download them or you put them uh, as always keep on the device because you've got an option on here always keep on the device and what that does then it, that keeps that always on this device you can see it downloading there it automatically downloads it 
when you double click on it anyway but by saying always it means it will always keep it on this device no matter what you do with the uh, OneDrive cleanup. I use OneDrive for storing all my documents and it's a great way of sharing them across multiple devices and of course a great way of being able to free up some space on devices with small hard drives but still have access to them if you've got an internet connection. If you haven't got an internet connection then you won't have access to them so if you want to have them offline then you, that's where you need to keep them locally. There are some other settings here, I've got other folders because there's some of the uh, folders which Windows doesn't know how to ca categorise. I've got a folder with virtual machines in, I've got some other uh, test folders and they've got large files in so it just shows you those them uh, shows you those there so that you can then uh, from here I think you can actually open those folders like that and you can go and have a look at them for yourself so Windows tries to categorize things into the various groups and then um, you can see them all categorized like that so, and then you've got the other one as well so really you've got full control over well which files get cleaned up and where they are. I, think I find the most useful the fact that just to give you an idea, you know, which apps are using which space and also uh, which OneDrive. So I, for that OneDrive content, I could free up 15 gig on this machine just by going through and making it all cloud um, stored. But in, for me, I have some files which I need locally, so I'm not going to do that just yet. But I could do. So those are all the storage options and the tools to clean up your find uh, or find out where the disk space is on your machine. I would uh, set up that uh, storage sense, turn it on in settings and leave it on and just get it configured to how you like it and uh, it makes sure that you've always got plenty of space on your machine. Thanks for watching this video, you can see more on thisslice.com at iStixon on Twitter.